Hi, I thought I would talk about which I think is better, LED floodlights or compact fluorescent floodlights. Um, before I get talking to those two, I, I recently got this one. Um, this is my, I use two of these in my backyard. These are, uh, this is an 11 watt uh, LED floodlight and it actually is a floodlight. Um, oh, before I start, I got this kilowatt thing now um, that I can actually measure the wattage and amperage of, of everything, but I won't go into that tonight. This is an 11 watt LED. There's, you can see uh, there's nine LEDs on here. It's made of thin, thin aluminum, and I really think this might be the wave of uh, LEDs in the, in the near future. Um, it's extremely bright for 11 watts, probably about a 60 watt bulb. Um, you can see it, it is a, it's a floodlight, which means that it goes out at a really wide angle. It's got nine LEDs in there and, uh, oh. When it's got circuitry in there, listen to when I turn it on. It takes it takes like a second before it, everything turns on because of the circuitry. So I'm saying these are probably uh, nine one watt LEDs, and uh, um, with the circuitry in here, it takes two watts. And it's, the light is once it comes on after a second. It's, it's instant on. Now this is a 23 watt compact fluorescent. And this is equal to about a 100 watt thing, but of course it takes a while for it to uh, turn on before it reaches its full brightness, about a minute. And I live in Ohio, so that means um, that when the winter gets really cold, like when it gets down to zero Fahrenheit outside, this will take, probably take like five minutes before it would warm up to full brightness. Uh, this is another floodlight, um, and it's fine, but for my money, uh, winter's coming on. It's October 2010 right now. Winter's coming on, and this is not my choice. And again, these things use uh, mercury vapor, uh, gets excited, and uh, they do, do draw bugs in the summertime. So I definitely like floodlights, LEDs outside. Now this is my current one I'm using outside right now um, for my driveway. This is an 18, it's very heavy, very well made, 18 watt, it's equivalent to about a 75 watt bulb. It's a nice warm light, about 3000K. And again, you'll see that this takes a second to turn on because of all the circuitry in here. On. Oh, well, well, this is already warmed up now. Um, and it's about a 30 degree, uh, I would say this is more like a spotlight, a 30 degree spotlight. Uh, 18 watts, this is uh, probably the reason this will be, this costs $45 at Home Depot. This is probably going to be my last uh, LED review I do because these things are quite expensive and this will probably last me quite a few years so it's very bright 75 watts spotlight and it's replacing this 18 watt is replacing this 120 watt tungsten well halogen bulb and to compare it it's 120 watts, very similar color. Uh, this is brighter, but it uses 120 watts as opposed to 18 watts, so it's like one tenth the power, the, the LED there. Um, now I had, we just had some can lighting installed, and these are some spotlights. Uh, these were 65 watt ones, and I replaced them with these. Uh, compact fluorescent uh, these are 15 watts and they're dimmable as as 
by the way, this is dimmable too. These uh, these are state of the art ones. They're dimmable. Um, these are great for indoors. They're dimmable, like I said. And again, they take a second to turn on. Well, they're already warmed up now, but take a second to turn on. And again, it takes like a minute or so for it to warm up all the way. Um, but these are great indoors. These cost about uh, $7 a piece. Um, well, this one cost like uh, $3. But this is not dimmable. This is 23 watts. Um, and just to let you know that uh, I've learned a lot. This is one of my first multi-LED uh, lights I bought. I, I forget. This probably has like 60 LEDs. This is 3.5 watts. It's plastic. It's very cheap, cheaply made. Um, the number of LEDs does not correlate to how good uh, an LED thing is. Here's a flashlight that's got one uh, S, it's got one P7 LED. Check that out to this one. This is probably ten times brighter than, than this, this plug-in one, this flashlight with one LED. Um, and uh, so what's better? Well, it depends on the application. For indoors, I don't think you can beat the, the compact fluorescence. For like going to the bathroom in the morning, I love to have these in the bathroom because they're, you don't get full brightness right away when you go into the bathroom in the morning. You turn it on, it gradually lights up, just like your eyes adjust better. Uh, this is a dimmable uh, LED. Um, they really have come a long way. And of course, I've had this one for about five years. Uh, this is my work light. This is my whole work light right here. This is a 45 watt, it's very old, 45 watt compact fluorescent. It takes, it takes probably three or four minutes for it to warm all the way up. It's very bright and great work light. So um, for outside, like I said, for outside, I don't think you can beat the the LED, the LED lights, um, because they don't draw bugs. When they turn on, they're instant. And for inside, until these come down in price, for inside, I always recommend compact, compact fluorescence.